voice side to tell me because the world doesn't understand. You know, this morning, the world doesn't understand. We're like this leopard. We're a foreigner. We're a stranger. But I want to tell you that there is a place where we can come to the healer, the giver of life, the one who knows all about us, and he will accept us as we present our bodies as a living sacrifice, as we come to give worship and praise to him. Amen. We are no strangers to Jesus. Amen. He wanted to come back to where the source of His healing was. He wanted to come back to the place where He was shown mercy, where He didn't deserve it. He wanted to come back to the place where He knew that religion itself could not heal Him and help Him. But oh, the Savior, amen, the Son of God could. Brother and sister, is that not a beautiful story this morning? It's not religion that saves us. It's not religion that gives us a heart of gratitude, but it's a relationship with God Almighty that changes us and we can come back to Him knowing that we're not a foreigner and we're not a stranger. Sometimes this whole world is pretty cruel, cool, isn't it? They don't understand why we need to live differently. They don't understand what it means to have a relationship with God. But I'm glad to know that when I come in the presence of God, I'm not a woman. I'm not a stranger. But I'm His. And He takes me in. I find that the power of gratitude from the stranger is so much. Because of the power of His gratitude, He touched Jesus. Verse number 16 says, And he fell down on his feet. At his feet, giving him thanks. Do you know what the power of gratitude does? It allows us to touch God. It allows us to touch God as we are grateful for what He's done for us. There are so many that petition with a hope and and they come to God only when they need something. But I'm thankful for the opportunity to be able to come and touch Him with the power of gratitude and thankfulness. I, who was a stranger, I, who was a foreigner, separated because of sin, but because He spoke the Word and He touched me, He changed my life. And now in gratitude, I'm able to come and find a place at His feet and I'm able to touch Him. Oh, what a change it makes in our life when we're able to touch God. Here with these Jews, they, none of them went back and they showed themselves to the priest and we don't know what happened to them. But all the priest was able to do was say, yes, I think you're clean and, and you can go back to your own life. And they went back to another a ritual and routine. But here was a Samaritan that his life was changed because he didn't just go to a priest, but he touched God Almighty. Amen. You know what will make a difference in our life? Amen. Not this Thanksgiving when we get around the table we're with family and that's a wonderful thing. I, I love to be with family. It's not even picking up turkey and that's so yummy and filling and all the good food. But you know what will be different? That will make us uncommon like this uncommon stranger, this uncommon Samaritan is when we sit down and we begin to lift our hearts up to God and we thank Him for the gift of life, for the gift of, of eternal life. Amen. For all the blessings that He's placed around us. Amen. For His healing power, for His touch, for His word, for His mercy. Amen. We can touch Him. Amen. Amen. When we have a heart of thanksgiving. And Jesus made him well. Verse number 19 says that Jesus said unto him, Arise, go thy way, for your faith hath made thee whole. Jesus made him whole. Now, the word that is used here for whole is the same word that is used oftentimes throughout the New Testament describing salvation. I think it's interesting as leprosy is a type of sin, and he uses the word here by faith that may be whole. Amen. That it is the same word that is used for salvation. Sin destroys. 
But when we come with a heart of thanksgiving and gratitude, amen, it brings salvation. It's an affliction that brought them together because they suffered. It was the disease that had contaminated them. Amen. The same disease of sin that contaminates us from the family of God. But when we hear <coughs> speaking mercy, and when we come back with gratitude and thanksgiving, He makes us whole. Isn't that what salvation is? If you could, this morning, reflect back on that time where you gave your heart to the Lord. You were overwhelmed by the guilt of sin. Sin carries a tremendous guilt with it. You knew that you could not release yourself from this, but you would die and go to hell if you did not expect salvation. But one day Jesus walked by and He said, I'll show mercy upon you. And He spoke to you and He changed you and said, go, live differently. And we reply back to Him, thank You, Lord. Thank You, God. Tears begin to flow. And our heart begins to rejoice. Amen. And He said, I make You whole. I make You whole. Amen. Gratitude is because we've been made whole. I'm thankful this morning that I know God, aren't you? Amen. As my Savior. I'm glad that I know Him. That, that I can live a life that's so different and an uncommon life like the Samaritan. You know, it's different than others, but it's because God has changed me. Amen. It's because I, I was a foreigner to everything else, but I found a place of acceptance and love and mercy. Amen. At the feet of Jesus. And as I touched Him, Amen. He continues to make me whole and He continues to touch me and He continues to say to me, Amen. You can go your way because you you're made whole. And I'm able to enjoy life no matter where He leads me. Sister Holly said, because He's there. And He's made me whole. This morning, I don't know, maybe there's someone in here, you don't know the Lord is your Savior. I want to tell you that you're like the leper. There's no place. There's no comfortable. There's no rest. You wonder what's around the corner. I want to tell you, if you listen to Jesus, this morning can be your morning where you can have an uncommon experience. An experience of uncommon thanksgiving because God has touched you and saved you. But for those believers this morning, I want to tell you that God wants us to come in an uncommon way to Him and worship Him. Sometimes we can worship because a song makes us feel good. Sometimes we can worship because everybody else is here and that's what we're expecting to do. But God's wanting us to come and worship because we love Him. Because we know He's the only Savior. He's the only He's the only one that can provide. So this morning, this is what I want us to do. I wonder if we could gather in at the altar and Brother Dennis and Sister Sandy would come. Amen. Prior to finding a place of prayer, I wonder if we could sing that chorus in all things. Give thanks. Amen. It's page... <coughs> number 789. I wonder if you'd stand this morning and just make your way to the front. And as we prepare to touch the feet of Jesus, as we prepare to come, no matter what our petition is, could we say, God, I'm thankful. Let's touch Him and let's hear Him say in our situation, it's going to be alright. I'm making it whole. Because in all things, we're giving thanks. Amen. We're together in this morning, but it is, God, if you would, just lead us in this course. Let's worship the Lord.
lift up your hands. Amen. Could you thank God for what He's done for you? Amen. It's a part of just touching Him this morning. Amen. Let Him know how much you love Him. Amen. He loves you. Hallelujah. He's working for you. He loves to show grace and mercy this morning. Hallelujah. Jesus.